and guys, so I am joined today by Mr. Ian Coates, the man, the myth, the legend. He's very well known in Hull for bodybuilding and I'm going to quickly run a showreel now of some of his uh, best parts of the videos that is actually going to be on a USB. Good old trusted USB. Let's run that showreel. So back, biceps and triceps. So he's going to put me through my paces. It's going to be slightly different to my training. I do, I used to do like slow control movements, and I think what's today going to consist of? As heavy as we can. As heavy. <laughs> we want the, the muscles basically to think, what the flipping heck's going on here? The only right. way I can cope with this is to get bigger. Yeah, that's my that's kind of philosophy. Philosophy. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. So we're going to do a different kind of training today, and then. Um, Wish me luck. <laughs> what I'm what, doing what now doing is sort of a wide grip pull down, which is basically width of lats. Yeah. We'll go on to depth. Yeah. Uh, inner inner back. Yeah. After this. Yeah. But we'll do two exercises on this first. That's fine. I'm just going to play a dumb today, just to let you know, so obviously you can get as much information out of this uh, guru as possible. So this is working this part. It's going to give you the width. Yeah. Got some good shape there, haven't you? Still got that huge shape. It's nice slow control movement. Yeah. Yeah. As heavy as we can get. Let's put this on there, our little legs. How many reps are we going for Ian? Ten, eight, ten reps. Eight minimum. 10 reps. So what's the reason behind these 8 to 10 reps? Maximum weight. Maximum weight. Just get the muscle thinking, I cannot, cannot cope with this. Yeah. And the only way it's going to cope with this is to get bigger. Yeah. yeah. So is this how you was training back in the day then? You should literally go as heavy as you could. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. As heavy as the more weight, the better. A bit of a Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, yeah. Idea really. But I don't know, I'll obviously end up like running home. <laughs> you put all the youngins to shame you. <laughs> I don't know about that. Deep. Six. Come on. Come on. Right, so what Ian's doing here now, single armed. So the idea behind this is to really get that deep contraction with one arm. So do you, do you feel so you can go a lot deeper? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yes, yeah, so when you're doing this one, is it really to get a bit better range of motion? Absolutely. Yeah. Get that little bit of depth. Deep, deeper depth burn. I mean, already this is only the first exercise. And, uh, my lats just feel really pumped, it's ridiculous. So one then, yep, straight on to the other. Same amount of reps? Yep. I think I did a couple max through with that one last time. Come on, big fella. Big back. 
Come on, show me the way. Big stretch at the top. Big stretch at the top. Come on. Two more. Last one. Lower it up, lower it up. Lower it up. Good man. With this then, you'd never have any kind of uh, reps in the bank, like as reserve. You just literally you no, want to get to eight go, to ten. Go full, yeah. Full. I mean, I think I did twelve, 12 each there. Yeah. So you don't want to be hitting that. No, I want to be getting eight to ten reps. Yeah. To maximum. Right. Okay. To feel you yeah, every time. Yeah. That makes sense. And as you can see, he's working with an injury here as well, and he's still going every so. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've got to strap up at the moment. So all the, all the years are lifting heavy. <laughs> to be honest, at my age now, yeah. I train back twice a week. Yeah. But I would, on a Tuesday, I would concentrate on width. Yeah. And on a third, on a Friday, I would concentrate on depth. Depth, right, okay. I never did that when I was your age. Right. But you've got to remember, I'm probably double yeah, your yeah. age. So is it, would you say you're doing that more for maintenance? I'm doing it because I'm an old man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it because well, I'm not because you're and still putting training out, aren't you, sir? I can't. I <laughs> <laughs> think is, though, the fact that you're still training is a massive thing anyway, isn't it? Then, what is it we're doing on this one? Just straight bar cable curls. Yeah, so just for just, biceps. Just for biceps. Yeah. Is this isolated movement? So it's isolated. very isolated. Yeah. And I even, I tend to stand back. Yeah. Because I've got quite short biceps. Yeah. Because you're pulling from there to there, it tends to go low on the bicep. Yeah. So that helps. A longer bicep yeah. is, a, is a bigger bicep. Right, okay. Yeah. You look at that peaks. Massive. Nice. Good. Steady, steady, steady. Pull it up, go up, yeah, get up. Also bad. We sit up and beg like a dog. Yeah. So you're like that. So you want to be controlling it, really. Like, you've got to remember, I'm a lot older than you. Yeah, yeah. But, yes. Yes. Go again. Go again. Go again. 
Sam ke? Sam baik kok. Jesus Christ. I don't think I've ever had an arm pump as fucking big as this. Oh. Oh. Triceps. Yeah. So yeah. we're reversing them. Yeah. This part, yeah. yeah, hopefully. That's what I've always believed. You want arms like legs, yeah. legs like people. <laughs> arms like legs, legs like people. <laughs> Do it. Getting closer in here or wider? Just or about up to, up to there. Right. Not too close. Sorry, right. just leave that gap. Yeah. Nice and close. Yeah, just sit on the bag. Be closer. That, That's it? good. We're aiming here. Yeah. That horseshoe. I'm sure I'll zoom the phone how it's from there. I was going to do some 21, but I think you better leave it. Yeah, I think yeah, you've just totally humbled my arms. Of... <laughs> the size of them, though. Never, never felt so pumped. It meant so. It'll be big. You're obviously just showing me that kind of weight that you're doing. And I know we, we kind of different training styles, but it's still a humbling experience to be able to like train heavy and have the amount of volume and intensity involved in it as well because you're still hitting eight to ten reps consistently and you're going heavy you know what i mean so it's, it's all about intensity yeah not hanging about yeah one two one two one two on, yeah yes and guys <laughs> what can i say about that jesus that was a humbling experience in terms of my own training and my intensity and volume stuff like that i do train to my own intensity and my own volume like slow controlled movements eight to twelve reps what we was doing today it was like a heavier weight higher volume, more intensity, and obviously be keeping up with the uh, the guru of bodybuilding. It just put things into perspective in a different way. And I think, you know, nowadays people kind of spend a lot of the time in the gym, in between sets, looking at the phone, changing music, stuff like that. Whereas you're losing that 100% focus. So it's just giving me a total different outlook and overview on how I'm training myself. So as I say, quite a humbling experience. And I, I'm now going to go away and kind of tweak my own training a little bit and maybe consider more you know, how I spend my time in between the rest of the periods. So yeah, honestly guys, I hope you got something from that. Ian obviously has a specific type of way of training, very humbling uh, type, I think. And to be able to train with someone so experienced who was Mr. Universe back in the day and known his own gym, Body World, but people from Hull Control know it. It was just a great, a great experience. So as I say, I hope you've got some uh, valuable content from that. I've never felt this pumped in a long time. Like my arms just feel massive, so it's great, but yeah. Uh, cheers for tuning in guys and what we'll probably do is if you enjoyed this content let me know in the comments and we'll record some other content like this with Ian I'm sure we'll be keep jumping on board again so thanks again guys see you on the next video